the Bible. Do you really believe in that stuff? Hi, Ruth. RJ! Uh, my back. My back. Dude, where have you been? Where are your parents? My mom's been getting sicker. Too sick to leave the house, but I got my dad to drop me off here today. Well, I'm glad you're here again. I've still been praying for your mom. Ruth, how can you tell that God hears you when you pray? How do you know that the stories in the Bible and God himself are even real? How can you know for sure he cares if bad things are happening all around you? I don't know if I've got a great answer for that, RJ. But I do know that many of the people in the Bible felt just like you do. Come on, RJ. In the Bible, after the time of the judges, God answers the prayer of a woman named Hannah and makes her and others in the story part of God's plan. God will give them an everlasting king. Guides our Hannah's tears when she cried out for a son. So God gave her Samuel, the last judge of Israel. Israel rebelled They cried out for a king Said we want to be like it Sam knew it wasn't right God knew their hearts No longer cared for him But he planned to use this A king could transform them so with the warning God gave to them, can Saul, when Saul turned wicked, God said to Samuel, I will put a king on Israel's throne, his reign will never end, his kingdom never cease. All David, brave 
and strong Was loved by all the land So jealous Saul was hunting him David hid in caves from him David asked God why Wrote the songs while he had to hide When Saul died then David rose God's plans would soon be known I will put a king on Israel's throne His reign will never end His kingdom never cease All the world will bow to him alone Oppression then will let His people Pointed to a far greater king